Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes tutorial and today we are going to talk about deconstruction. This is your 7.30 pm class daily and if you are visiting my channel first time, don't forget to subscribe for our daily classes at 7.30 pm. Now without further ado, let's start. The origin of deconstruction. It starts from Derrida's uh, some of the works like first of all, first of all uh, Derrida's Writing and Difference which got published in 1967 of Grammatology 1967 and there was a lecture a Structure, Sign and Play in the Discourse of the Human Sciences. So this was a lecture. These three works are important and uh, from there this term deconstruction started. To understand deconstruction better we must know these forms. First is formalism, structuralism, binary oppositions, and hierarchy. And let me tell you, if you want to understand what deconstruction is, uh, don't go for a particular uh, definition of the word deconstruction or term de deconstruction because you will never find that. And uh, nobody has uh, described it. But it is kind of a process of analyzing uh, analyzing a work of literature or not only work of literature but other um, uh, creative arts too. And deconstruction is used in uh, different aspect of uh, creative arts. Uh, so uh, if you want to understand what deconstruction is, try to understand all the terms and uh, then use of deconstruction. I will try my level best to make you uh, understand what deconstruction is and hopefully you will like this and the meaning of deconstruction will be clear so first of all we have to clear some of the terms in order to understand what deconstruction is formalism focuses on on a form on form of a text instead of its content so what is formalism here form is important and the focus point is form not content in short Structuralism focuses on structure and linguistic aspects of, uh, of a text rather than what is uh, uh, represented there, what it represents. So here focuses structures okay, and linguistic aspect in structuralism. Binary oppositions. Binary oppositions, two concepts that are set as opposites like uh, light and black. So both are opposite concepts and they are put together men and women hierarchy hierarchy is a term uh, which signifies system a system in which things are uh, things or people are organized into level based on status so hopefully these um, four concepts are clear to you deconstruction relies on concept of structural linguistics and what is structural linguistics it is a branch of linguistics if you don't know, if you are just starting English literature, let me tell you, linguistic means study of study of language. <clears throat> it's a branch of linguistics that treats language as a system of interconnected units. So there are some interconnected units. We find out them and we study them. Now let's go ahead. So what's the meaning of deconstruction? So as I told you, there is no fixed uh, definition of deconstruction or there is no fixed meaning it's a kind of process the idea of deconstruction itself is open to interpretation and uh, scholars define it in different ways as I just told you means many literary scholars try to def uh, define it but you will find uh, different uh, meanings and different uh, explanations of the idea uh, so, if you are trying to understand or trying to figure out uh, what deconstruction is, keep in mind these things. Derrida says Western philosophy was rooted in pedagogocentrism uh, and it emerged as critic of structuralism. So, it was, uh, you know, they started doing criticism of structuralism and then they got idea of deconstructionalism. Derrida challenged the theory of binary opposition and uh, because he was going against all these uh, then came the idea of deconstruction <clears throat> so 
Deconstruction, as the name suggests, seeks to pick these intricate connections and presumptions apart through uh, close, uh, close analysis. So, if you are a deconstructionist, what you will do? You will take a text, you will uh, analyze it closely, and uh, then you will try to find out the intricate connections and presumptions, uh, you know, between the text. So this is the work of uh, deconstruction. Some of notable notable uh, deconstructionists are Paul Deman and uh, Geoffrey Hartman. Now here there is important term if you are studying uh, deconstruction, you will find this word difference. Difference here you will find a, and here you will find e. So it was just misspelled word of difference, but later it became a term which has some meaning. Like Derrida describes the concept, this concept as an infinite series of chain of signification. Now, if you understand uh, structuralism, uh, already I have uh, made video on structuralism and I have uh, described structuralism. But in short, I, uh, let me tell you what is uh, chain of signification. Uh, in the free play of meanings, <clears throat> One signifier leads to a signified. See this. If you don't know what signifier and signified is, so let me draw here something. Uh, like if I write here cat, okay. Uh, it can be lion or uh, because, okay, well, let me give you the example of this. So cat is signifier. And here, the picture of cat, if I make picture of a uh, cat here, so it is signified. Cat is signifier and cat, uh, cat, actual picture of cat or cat is signified. What is chain of signification then? It tells that one signifier leads to a signified which itself becomes a signifier again uh, for another signified and so on. So let me uh, give you an example like I had a line here. Okay, uh, it is a line. Okay, so it is here signified. It is signified. But if I put this line on a flag here so it can be symbol of something else and it can become a signifier and this is signified now so in this way i'm just trying to make it clear that i i gave you example of lion and uh, lion has you know changed its, its meaning and now it's signifier to something else because this uh, flag can represent any any other country okay so country will become signified and this uh, flag will become signifier so hopefully you have got idea of chain of signification means it keeps on uh, going and meaning gets changed okay. Signi signifier will get changed and then uh, with that meaning will get changed so that is chain of signification uh, hopefully you have got the idea. So finally, conclusion is the fundamental logic of deconstruction is that no text carries meaning or messages that are beyond interpretation. Means you can interpret any meaning or any message in any text. Okay. Means you are free to interpret it and different scholars will, uh, if 10 people are reading, uh, this text single text they all people will have different interpretation Because it is not fixed So that is the deconstruction. We are trying to take out some meaning and uh, Without any uh, you know form they uh, they are rejecting form uh, rhyme or any literary device or theme Okay, if you are studying form 
then you are a formalist so like likewise and if you are deconstruction uh, deconstructionist we try to find some meaning between the lines means without uh, going going through form rhythm a little device or theme we try to find out some uh, different opinion or different interpretations we will we will have so hopefully deconstruction word is clear to you and write down in comment box whatever idea you got about deconstruction if it is clear to you that's good if it is not clear to you i will try to make this video uh, with more examples or uh, i will try my level best to make the terms clear to you so hopefully you like the video thank you for watching this video till the end if you are interested in uh, uh, notes for English literature for any UGC net uh, exam or any other exam or courses video courses you can whatsapp me on 7409287156 see you soon in next video goodbye